You're watching Revelation, the program with a biblical perspective. Now is the time for Revelation. Okay, you're watching Revelation. Thank you very much for joining the program. Today, very unusual, we have uh, some rappers. No, not the sort of rappers that go on about end times and Bible subjects that perhaps go over your head, but tonight, Gospel Gangsters. My goodness, what a title. What's so, up? What's how are you doing? Would you like to take the lead and just tell us a little bit about the band? We are the original Gospel Gangsters. And first I'll start with the name. We're ex ex-crips and bloods and ex-drug dealers, ex-gang members, that lives have been changed by the, the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. So, and you, God put us together and, and with the gifts that he put in our lives, you know, it's like gospel against us is pretty much a, a byproduct of our brotherhood, our friendship, our relationship with Christ. We're brothers in the Lord first, you know, so um, we just use our gifts that he gave us to give Glory to him. We just give it back to him, and we just, instead of telling people about ourselves and our neighborhood and, and things we used to talk about, because I was rapping even before I knew the Lord, because the gift comes without repentance. So I had this gift, just didn't know the purpose for it, and where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. So I rapped about things I knew out of the abundance of my heart, my mouth spoke. But when my mind changed, my song changed, and Jesus is in my heart, so that's what I speak. That's quite a testimony. I didn't realize that was going to come forth, and that's really good because we've not met, be met before, so whatever we're hearing now is, is hitting me as well as it, hopefully the audience. And I uh, thank you for that. Chili Baby, is this the same sort of background that you come from too? Yeah, we was, um, me and Solo, we grew up in the same neighborhood. We gangbanged together. We sold dope together, you know. And um, he got born again first, and I was still out in the streets. You know, and he used to come pick me up in my dope spot and drive me around the corner. Minister to me and say, now nah, you ready to go to church with me? And I say, nah, homie, that's for you. It's not for me. I want, I'm going to remain a gangster because I felt that's what I was born to be that. That's what I felt, you know. And then God, he put me in a place where my back was against the wall. And you know what I'm saying? I had to call on him, but it came through him because little did I know all the times he was picking me up and dropping me off, seeds was getting sown into my life. A lot of people think... You know, just because they born again, everything all right, but it don't go like that. You can't just sit in your pew in your church and not do nothing. It's people that's that's blind, that's lost out there. And if it wasn't for, for Christ through him, I wouldn't be here today. A lot of times, the only Christ people going to see is us. Because a lot of kids don't want to go to church, or teenagers, or grown-ups don't want to go to church. You know, they don't want to leave the club and come to the church, so you got to take the church to the club. And so he, he, brought, he brought church to me. He brought, you know, Jesus to me. The only thing, only, I didn't go to church. I never wanted to go. I was unchurched, period. But he was like, you know what I'm saying? I was a Gentile, you know what I'm saying? Some might say a Philistine. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, yeah, Philistine, yeah, I was doing all them things. All the bad, <laughs> all the wrong thing, it, I was that, you know what I mean? Until Christ changed my mind, and now I'm free, totally free. Well, this gives... A lot of people hope. I mean, there are people watching that would just say, well, you know, I'm past redemption. I, there's no way God would ever forgive me for the things I've done. And yet, it, just the two of you, we haven't even got to, to Ash. You know, what on earth is, can you say to people to give them that hope that no matter what you've done, there is a way out? Well, sin abound, grace much more abound. That's mm -hmm. what I tell them. Mm -hmm. I mean... We got to give them the word that came to us, you know, and the word that's there and equally available to them. Um, no matter what they're going through, no matter where they at, he's able. I mean, his name is Yahweh, he who brings into existence all that exists. I will be all that I will to be. You need deliverance, I can be that. You need healing, I can be that. You need a savior, I am that. Whatever you need, I'll be that. You mentioned uh, the Old Testament name for God there, Yahweh. Y-H-W-H, for no consonants, vowels. Please believe it. It is the uh, most incredible name, and yet uh, mentioned some 7,000 times in the, the scriptures and has been taken out of modern Bibles. Exactly. Why do you think that is? Why? Uh -huh. Well, 
operate. That's a serious question. That's I'm operate, here for serious. That, that's, that's, almost, that's, that's almost another show. Mm -hmm. That's the operation of the mystery of iniquity to distort the truth. He said this was his eternal name used throughout all generations. In Acts 4, they forbid. You got to realize they forbid them to speak in the name of Yahshua. Actually, Jesus wasn't his name. It was Yahshua, meaning Yahweh is salvation. Who could save you from Yahweh? Nobody. He said he'd come in his father's name. But what was his father's name? Exactly. Yahweh. And it says that his name will be made known all over the earth. And his children shall know his name. What is his name? Through all generations. Yahweh. <laughs> Amen. A lot of people yeah. say, Hello. in the name of the Lord. Well, right. what's his name? Right. Well, it's about time we got back to that, don't you think? Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Because sure. then we can differentiate between goes. the false gods of the Hallelujah. This world. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, well, we, we're, we're rapping now, yeah? yeah? Hallelujah. Okay. Even as old as I am, as gray and no hair. Um, there's something up there. Ash. Ashmac. Ashmac. Put it there, man. Thanks. For sure. Okay. That's a long time since I did that. Um, but now, what is it that's brought you together with these gangsters? With the, I mean, these two right here on the streets, they was my enemies. You know, if I seen them on the streets before we came up under Christ, I'd be plotting on how to take their life because we didn't get along. Why is that? Were you the supplier? We were, we were notorious. We were notorious enemies. For some, we don't even we don't even know why why, why we would hate them. But our allegiance is pledged to a, a gang, but then you pledge to a whole group of enemies. The enemies that were there before you even it's not your enemies. You get friends, but enemies. Is this not synonymous with the way the world is as well? Generally, we see that in different groups, and sadly, yeah, I mean, even in the Middle East. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, not just gangs. That's just a small picture where we live. But I mean, even like races. I mean, there's kids who's born. And don't know why they hate certain races, but their parents have put that on them. Right. They were born, and they're like, "Well, I don't know why, but my I hate I know, them. Like I went to a school where um, it was like mixed, so that's why I thank God he had me where it was never a racial barrier or anything. There were Hispanics, Caucasians, black kids, Asians, Chinese, everything. everything. So, Filipino. but 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 some of the uh, some of the, the the like say like Hispanic girls or something, they would like some of the the African-American kids, but their parents was like, no, that's no way. And they would like, I don't know why, but my dad will kill me. Mm -hmm. So they embraced it, and they would be like, no. And they would say bad things, and the other people had that spirit. They would call them bad names, like, oh, you love the... And they would make slanderous names. And and us being the minority, we were like, why don't they like... I mean, as kids, we, don't, we didn't understand. I mean, let's play. I mean, why can't we play? I mean, we've been playing every day. So these things are really put upon us by our forefathers, and this has come down generations and generations. Yeah. But really the bottom of it uh, lies a spiritual aspect. And there is an enemy. A lot of people watching maybe think, you know, if we talk about Satan, the devil, that, oh, he's, you know, for tooth fairies and stuff. It, it doesn't really exist. It's for, for movies. But uh, what's your opinion uh, on that? Oh, well, Satan is, is definitely real. It's, oh, and yeah. demons are definitely out here working every day if, if you just look at the world and how it's going how things is going on and happening and changing as the world turns you know that's that's i mean that's evident if somebody say that they just being unlogical i mean the, the word says i mean if we believe in yahweh then we must believe in our adversary there is an ad he warns you there is an adversary the devil and he comes to kill steal and destroy it, so i understand and we're and he said i I won't let you be ignorant of Satan's devices. So therefore, we, um, we continue to seek his face. And those who are led by the spirit of Elohim, these are the sons of Elohim. So we try to be led by the spirit, not by the flesh, that we can stay strong and we can stand against the adversary in that day. The reason I mention this is because uh, the adversary, Satan, has put about throughout the world now for the last 6,000 years um, a message of hatred, a message of dissension, and that which separates, because his whole intention is to lead everyone away from God, Yahweh, to, to death and destruction. And what better way to do that through divisions? Yeah. You know, it's only, I would say, this generation that's now seeing that those lies that they've been passed on from their forefathers, they don't, it's, it's a lie, because you, you're living proof. We're all living proof for those that come to know the Lord, that we can overcome any prejudices which have been put upon us. And I thank God for that. T tell me, I, I just, you know, I'm absolutely amazed uh, that of your testimony, and I'd really like to home in a little bit more. 
What would you, how did you overcome your hatred, just to put it into the... Well, I met, I, met, I met Mr. Solo over here, you know, I met him through a mutual friend. I, you know, I went to the studio strictly on music business, you know, no personal ties. That means our preference, our gang preference is not here. This is music. This is business. I went in there, you know, to see how the studio was ran, to see what was going on, basically. And instead of showing me how to get, make a, get a record deal, he showed me the face of my creator. And once I seen it, I never wanted to stop looking at it. And, I, and, I, and, and my heart, I start, when I renewed my mind, I started to change in every way. I didn't even I mean, desire right. for the things that I did before. Now, you guys, obviously, as soon as I met you, you would think, my goodness, if anyone was to meet you in the street, they would think, wow, real cool, real cool. You don't mess with these guys, you know? So how is it that you have s softened yet still maintained your toughness? Can, because can I get that? Can I get that? Yeah, go ahead and yeah. get it. I want to get a beat. See, the reason get that it. is, see, let me take my hat off. See, I'm a lion from the tribe of Judah. See, a lion is the king of the jungle. Not, everything sees a, the deer see the lion like oh the lion he could kill me but then the lion come give him a little fool hey here you go God, Yahweh bless you he could have killed me but he showed me love I'm a lion nothing can, nothing eats a lion only thing a, any, only thing you can do is kill me like if, if us two lions but only thing we can do is kill each other but you you don't run you don't destroy me no you don't prey on me we're predators but we choose to praise so people walk in and they see like, oh, we could, we could physically go toe-to-toe -to -toe with whoever. From, I mean, I got best, my spiritual dad played for the Washington Redskins Super Bowl. He's a solid man. But we look eye to eye. Physically, I'm a lion too. Respect me. And I'm going to respect you. But we choose to praise. And when they see us big men walking in, but we just come with the love of Elohim. Because God is love. And he's inside of us. And they see like... We got rap, even our gifts, people see like, you guys rap so good. You guys could be making money. Or you guys are handsome. You could have so many women. But it's not about that. It's about him and his purpose and plan for our lives. Knowing him, as you call him, what has it done to actually make other changes in your life? What are ev what's the evidence? Well, when you know Yahweh, you know everything. I mean, then you understand your purpose and plan for your life. I mean, without a vision, people perish. <laughs> so we was par without lack of knowledge, people perish. And he said, you shall know the truth, and the truth you know shall make you free. See, I was bound because I knew nothing in ignorance. But as I begin to know, I begin to get set free as I begin to know my creator more. And he taught me about, he, he, he has something to do with everything. Everything exists he made. So. Then it resurrect my entrepreneur mind because he gave me the ability to obtain wealth. He said, I give you witty inventions and ideas. He began to establish the thoughts of the righteous. Now I don't think of killing. Now his word, I'm reprogramming. I'm being transformed by the renewing of my mind through the reading of the word. Letting the same mind be in me that was in Yahshua, the Messiah. That's and what... That's what I wanted to hear. He the transforming of the mind. That's what we all need to do. It's not a matter of just knowledge, is it? It's no. a matter of making changes, you know, is repentance going Turn. forward, turning around. You know, now, the young people that would be, could be watching this program, this is for the older people like my generation, but you can still speak volumes to people through what changes you've made. Uh, Chili Baby, what, what would you say is the most significant change um, walking with the Lord has, has done for your life? <laughs> Where you want to start at? I mean, my whole... My whole, man, my whole, my, once I realized my whole existence was him, I had to walk with him. Listen to what he said, not to what myself said or to what the devil said. I had to walk and listen, because he going to change you. He going to, I never seen a man come to Elohim and stay the same. You know, people say, well, you, you do this and you do that. You can't come to, I can't come to church because I do that. I'm not going to tell you to stop that. He didn't tell me, okay, chill, stop this, chili baby, stop this. He just said, come worship me. Give your heart to me. Give your mind. Give everything to me. And I'm going to change it all. And I'm going to fashion you. And I'm going to shape you how I want you to be. So you can walk in the earth and be a lion from the tribe of Judah. Fantastic.
You feel me? I do. Okay. Well, That's you uh, Ashmack. I mean, there must be something when you listen to, to your colleagues as well that, that it reminds you of what, you know, gave you the impetus to, to walk in faith. I mean, I'm reminded every day. I mean, because it's not something that we just go on the road and, and act about. You know, we get back to the hotel room, we write in the Word. You know, we worship him for no reason at all because he is worthy of all the praise. You know, so it's not, I'm not just talking, I'm walking. So I'm reminded every second and every hour of every day. So it's never, it's never hard to forget. I mean, like he said, every time you take a breath, every time your eyes blink, who causes your heart to beat? Who causes it to stop? Who causes your hair to grow? Right. See, once you realize you're not yourself, you're, you're his. He made you. Once you die, you go right back to the dirt and your spirit lives on with him. So, you know, that's why he says, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Because you're going to return back to your creator. When you, when you get in trouble, you call on him. Just like a car, when it's broke, you got a manual. You got to go to that manual to fix that car. He made you. You got to go back to him to get fixed up. That's why he said, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. No matter who you are, it's going to go down. Bottom line, line bottom. The manual. What's the manual? The Bible, isn't it? The basic instruction before, before leaving, leaving earth. earth. Yeah. Don't yeah. leave earth without him. Don't. I, I, I pity your soul. <laughs> What we need in our generation is to encourage particularly younger people because they're bombarded in the media with so much which is um, salacious, uh, untruth. Um, you talked about belief in a creator. We're given the science, uh, the philosophy of evolution and the damage that's done to our generation so they don't even accept that there can be a god or a creator. To get to the appreciative level that you guys have got, um, what would you say to young people watching today to encourage them? I would, I would tell them, um, you tried everything else. It, I already know that it won't satisfy you because there's a void in your heart that only he could fill because he reserved that spot for him because eternity is in the hearts of man. Yeah. The mere fact that you're breathing, brother, is a testimony that he lives because he said when he breathed into Adam, he became a living soul. So the mere that you breathe, and it's not on, you can't stop yourself from breathing. You can't do it. It's him inside you. It's Elohim inside you. And I would tell him just to begin to see. You tried everything else. You tried women. You tried drugs. You tried the gang. Try Yahshua. Try your God. Try your creator. Try. And I guarantee you he'll answer. He said, taste and see that I'm good. That's all I, I was, I'm, this isn't the fake. I, if you would have met me 10 years ago, you probably wouldn't have met me because we would have been on two different sides, and if we did meet, it wouldn't. It would have been on whole other terms. But old things are past, where everything is new. You know, I'm a new creature. We, I mean, we're engrafted in the same family. You call him daddy, I do. So that makes you my brother. We all are related because we all from one seed, Adam. If you believe that word, if you believe our Creator, we're all brothers and sisters come from one seed. And that's why it's impossible for me to hate. In, in this faith, once you believe, if you thoroughly believe, you can't hate me or you because you know my social position, whether I have no money, that doesn't matter here. My educational status means nothing. You could be Michael Jordan or the president. All of us got to buy. We're all tied in. Whether he, well, no matter your racial status, it doesn't matter. But whether one has Christ and he's equally available to all, Colossians 3.11, if you need some word for it. You know, I just say, you know, uh, like me, I, you know, call this bluff and he'll pull your cord. You feel me? You call. You say you want to, you know, you want to be changed. You can be changed. Call him. He there for you. He made you. He can fashion you and change you to however he wants you to be. Call this bluff and he'll pull your cord. And you'll never know. You'll never know yourself until you know the Creator. I don't care who you are. See, man. I don't care who you tough. How tough you are. How much money you got. It doesn't matter. Until you get close to the Creator, you'll never know who you are because you'll always have a void in your heart. It, it'll always be that empty, empty space, you know what I'm saying, that you're trying to fill, and you can't fill it because it's Him. And He's just waiting on you to say, yes, that's it. Just say, yes, Lord. Have you ever been tempted to go back to the old life? In our younger walk, in our, in our younger walk, but now, I mean, I'm like the disciples. Where can I go, Lord? Okay, I ain't got no money. I got you. I still have everything. 
you know. If I don't got no ice. When before anything else, he everything. is. You know what I mean? So long as I got you, I, I got, got everything. 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 You could take away all my possession, but the name it stays. It stays. It don't matter. Nothing, nothing. If I die, so what? You got a gun. To, to, you can't do nothing he don't let you do. And to be absent of this body is to be present with Yahweh. So you do me. Actually, I'm here for you. Because you kill me. I'm, I'm where you hoping to be. I've made it now. It's over for me. I'm there. So death wears the sting. It don't bother me. Because I know as soon as I check out, I check in. And I really live. <laughs> That's the only thing. Can these dry bones live? I'd like very much to hear you sing. Now, is that, is that possible that you could uh, just give us a rap? Oh, you want to snip it? Yes. We're going to be playing the video, obviously, in the program, which they're going to send very kindly from the States uh, in uh, digital video cam, if possible, but if not, better SP. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll look forward to playing that on the air. And, uh, but meanwhile, just, just give us, you know, what have you got? Something for this generation? Amazing Grace? or? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. This is how it goes down. This is how it's translated. Amazing Grace, to me, it's the sweet sound. To catch a wretch like me, so let the beat pound. See, I was lost to the cross, now I'm found. I once was blind, but I, I can, can see, see now. now. And it will amaze you, the unmeritable favor that he gave you, the Savior. And I just want to take time to praise you, because even while still lost in sin and still doing wrong, his grace kept me from a tombstone, mm-hmm. born in sin and shaping in iniquity, full of trickery. <laughs> Why did you want to get with me? I never would pray. I'd rather get the girl and lay, full of sin. Like I said, I was born mm-hmm. that way. A foul mouth full of four-letter verbs and nouns. If sin was water, I was in so deep I I drowned. And even though I thought clubbing was fun and church was dumb, dumb, he kept bidding me to come, son. son. His spirit drew me to repentance and I thought of Christ. I was the sinner when you died. Your blood Blood bought my life. life. Now all my sins are erased, but it's not because of me. It's because of your grace. grace. It's just so so amazing. amazing. So amazing. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Amazing grace for all of us. And by the grace of God, go I. A solo, a baby, a Yo, 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 what's the deal? Yes. Oh, what's up, Kurt? So where y'all at? Hey, homie, we on our way right now. That's the cool. That's to meet you there. All right, cool. Hey, man, this party's off the meter. We need to be there, man. We, we do need to be like getting I can't, burned. bro. What? what? Solo party. What's up, Q? What's up, homie? I need you to meet us at the top. Like, man. The rest fail, I collect meal. While y'all waiting to exhale, I prove that. Even the prodigals get they move back, lose back. And you probably say, who's that? Big solo with a local to rap mobile. Got both, got me tripping like total. I take flight, recite, watch with be right. Making them seeds pay ties to the rap Levites. Equivalent to radiation, I'm hazardous. Speaking resurrect a dead crowd like it's Lazarus. I master this, the track has to hit. Combined with the rhyme and the track master's mix. I can make them boogie, boogie to the woogie. Faith in God as I'm eyes like Diddy. Save me, save me. Make me think, should he shitty or could he, could he? And if he can, tell me what he did. To accept it, neglect it, and all be subjected to the hectic, unexpected. Your whole crew is pathetic. Tell me who can wreck it and still move prophetic. Fruit inspected, bad seeds are detected, so rejected. When you're stripping, judge naked, respected. The pick is hand picked and selected. Kinetic, master with poetic homiletic. Uh, so what now? Do you need Chili Baby to show you how I win my buck? Bean wrapped in tapu cow style. No escapades, year 2000 escalate. Plus, pay, they don't believe that I'm safe. From the west to the five barrels, I'm zero. Got me good from the flesh bone down to the marrow. I keep the ghetto. Got your boss like some jello, but when God calls you better ask him. I like this. 
Thank you very much for joining us this time. I hope you really enjoyed that and look forward to the next program. Who knows? God knows who we'll have next. Thank you. You've been watching Revelation, the program with a biblical perspective.